Good morning. Your little tongue is hanging out. Did you know that? It's it's like it's it's like it, yeah, it's right there. There's your tongue. Your tongue's hanging out of your mouth. Chubby. Chubby your tongue is still hanging out in case you didn't know. <laughs> oh, that's gotta be the cutest thing you do. It's right it's right there. There's your tongue. It's hanging out. It's right it's right there. It's right there. Go put it put it back on your mouth. No, you're not gonna put go put that back in your mouth. No. Okay. <laughs> Good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. All the dogs are sleeping. Did you put? Hey, you did it. <laughs> Memphis is over there just chilling, kind of having a lazy Sunday morning today. And trust me, we don't mind. My Jeep was beeping at me and I don't know why. <laughs> so it is sunny as can be outside today. My Jeep sounds a little funny. Uh, but anyway, I have to run out and do some errands. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. I thought we'd go check out the lake. Cause it, I mean, I'm sure, look at, look how blue the sky is. I'm sure there's no ice or anything there, but we'll go check it out, see what we can see. So I figured we haven't showed you guys the ice tree in quite a while, check it out. We've had some warm weather and then some cold weather. It's thinner <laughs> than it has been and uh, definitely not so blue starting to melt I think it's like 40 degrees today and you guys know we had all that snow and then it you know it melted and then all this snow came back but the ice tree is still there it looks like we're gonna have it there for at least a couple more weeks before it melts and then it looks like there's no ice out on the lake but we're gonna go to a different spot and uh, see how pretty it looks today uh, I figured before I drove to the other side of town, I would go ahead and get my car washed. <laughs> so one of the perks of living in Michigan is we have a lot of salt on our roads. And salt, they call it, uh, leads to rust, which we tend to call cancer on cars up where we live. So, because once your car starts to rust, it just continues to rust. So one of the things we have to do quite often is wash our cars. And I just tend to take mine to the car wash and drive it through. You can do the cheapest car wash, it just kind of gets everything off. So I'm going through the car wash. It's always so crazy looking. So I came down to the harbor, which is actually behind me, so we can see all of Thunder Bay. Look at how pretty it is. And it's so quiet right now. There's almost no waves. There's actually a guy fishing over there behind this truck. And all the ice is gone. I have a feeling we won't see it again this season. There might still be ice way out there in the lake, but I doubt it. It's just so pretty. Look how pretty it is. It's a beautiful day today. What are you doing? Are you still having a lazy Sunday? Say, oh my gosh, we're still having... You don't have to get up. You can stay lazy. Look at Memphis is over here all curled up. I guess she's not really curled up. She's like spread out, but she's curled up against the heater. Is your butt warm? I bet it is. And then there's this beautiful girl. You just look the cutest right now. Yeah, you do. You look super comfy. You sound like you're snoring even though you're awake. <laughs> oh, I love you, cutie. Yeah, not really a whole lot going on today, like I said. Sunday, we're kind of just chilling. Not doing much. Um, if you guys aren't following us on our Instagram, we have two Instagram accounts. We have Instagram.com slash snowdogsvlogs, which is Jamie and I's. We try to post on it at least once a day. And then the dogs have their own, which is Instagram.com slash gone to the snowdogs. And if you guys are following the gone to the snowdogs one, I posted an Insta story the other day, yesterday, I don't know, by the time you guys see this, I think it was two days ago, so it might not be up there anymore, about a lump we found on Oakley. So the day we did her nails, Jamie and I noticed she had a swirly fur spot on her leg. And that's always seems to be how we find her lumps, is we'll notice that her fur is like growing in a weird way. So now that she's standing, see I didn't have to make you stand up, you did it on your own. Bless you. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it because of the sun. Maybe? Here, see if I can get in the shade. Okay, see the swirly fur spot as she walks away? <laughs> She's like, I'm not standing still. So anyway, she's got a swirly fur spot. Not on your nose, honey. It's on your leg. On the top of her leg right there. And it is a lump, so we are going to have to... 
I'm going to call the vet tomorrow morning and schedule to get her in for a needle biopsy. We don't know what it is. You guys know Oakley's had cancer a couple times. She had cancer on that leg. She had cancer on that leg. Let's hope she doesn't have cancer on her front leg. Can we go for a little while without our dogs having lumps and things like that? Just a little while would be nice. Some of you have actually commented down in the comments, why do your dogs keep getting sick and why do your dogs keep getting lumps? Well, they're not really getting sick, but yes, two of them are getting lumps. A lot of it realistically has to do with poor breeding. Shelby's lumps are genetic. Her mom had lumps. Her mom had a lot of lumps. It was even when we got her, we knew that this was that there was a good chance it was going to be an issue with Shelby. And I think Oakley's kind of the same way. Um, there's not really a whole lot you can do to prevent it. It's very common when dogs get older, but I think the reason a lot of people don't realize how common it is, how common it is, is most people when their dogs get lumps, they don't really do anything. Oh, you can see it now. It's right there. Yeah, a lot of people choose to just keep an eye on it and do nothing. Where Jamie and I kind of take the more proactive approach to it. And like when we find them, we go try to find out what they are. If they think there's something bad, we get them removed. I, believe it or not, you guys, a lot of people nowadays, they don't, they don't do that. Even in today's technology and all the technology we have, a lot of people just don't spend the money to find out what's wrong with their dogs. Which is also a reason why canine cancer and cancer in cats and things like that, there's still not a lot of information about it because so many people choose to just keep an eye on lumps, not actually have them removed. Some people have them removed and they don't even have them sent out to find out what they are. I understand, it does cost a little bit more, but we're not those people. We're the people that are like, what is it? What can we do about it? How can we make it go away? Can we fix it? That just seems to be the type of people we are, I guess. So we're gonna take a look to the vet. Uh, I'll, I'll call him tomorrow, so it'll probably be sometime this week. We'll probably do the needle biopsy. And then the problem with Oakley is she's almost 14 years old. So hopefully it'll be good news. Hopefully they'll just say, oh, it's a fatty tumor. She does actually have another fatty tumor on her collarbone that's on that same side. So hopefully that's all it is. But we're going to call the vet on Monday, make an appointment, see if we can find out what that lump is, huh, Oakley? <laughs> can we just, like have a little bit of time between when the dogs have stitches and when they don't. I feel like you guys have had stitches since November. You had stitches, you've had stitches multiple times. Look, your fur isn't even fully grown back from when you had stitches this last time. It's right there, see it? That's your nose, I'm pointing at your nose, I'm trying to show everybody if they can see the fur swirl, see it? So that's, well she had a shave spot there, but above that she has a lump that was needle biopsy and they said was nothing. So I'm hoping that the one that's right there is the same thing. You wanna go outside? All right, I'll let you outside. Hey, I'm back from my crazy meeting! Yeah! I heard you guys drove daddy crazy while I was gone. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> oh, were you being feisty, Oakley? Is that what you were trying to do? She's like, I just wanted food, that was all. Man, she's just whapping you in the face with her tail, isn't she? Just whapping you right in the face, huh? Oh my goodness, it's already dark out. What a crazy, crazy day, huh? Yeah, let's just see how feisty you really are. Well, Daddy wasn't kidding, was he? He really did get pretty feisty. Did you get a little crazy? Did you get a little couch crazy? Did you feel better now? 
She's like, yeah, I got my zoomies out. You are kind of crazy when you do that every once in a while for no reason. Yeah, she knocked you off the couch, didn't she? And you really wanted to play with her. You're asleep. You don't even know I'm talking to you. <laughs> I love you, you big crazy girl. I love you. <laughs> oh my god, that must be tired. Are you going to yawn too? Oh, I thought I was going to make you yawn. Uh, Alright, you guys. We are going to bed. After this lazy Sunday. Started off with lazy dogs, ending with lazy dogs. <laughs> Oh, it's a big star. I did make you yawn, sort of. Maybe it was a little delayed. Memphis, Memphis is laying over here in front of the fireplace. I don't know why that's where she wanted to be. I know, I know. But we're going to go ahead and call it a night. We're going to bed. If you guys are new to this channel and you like what you saw, hi, beautiful. <laughs> uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience, as always. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. You're not fooling me. You just want a cookie. Go to bed, okay? <laughs> uh, good night, audience.